Okay, so here's what I've done. I've also put a line just under that spring down to there to uh, uh, increase the, uh, like, I guess, the way the electricity can get through the earth there on both sides now. Um, we'll just do a quick test run. So I've still <laughs> not attempted to cut the pipe. Um, we'll just do a, a dry run. I'll uh, rewind the G code, uh, regen the G code, and hit the start cycle. So the torch won't turn on. Uh, just my lamp up here will turn on when the torch usually turns on. So, rewinding to the start position. We're going to run it about 900 millimeters. I don't know how fast I need to run it, but it's pretty thick piping. It's five mil pipe. Seems to remain. About 1.5, 1.6 mil clear of the pipe. I'm not using the poor tri controller for obvious reasons. There's no need to in this instance. So, all right, I'll uh, get the air connected and the plasma torch switched on, and we'll see how we go. Okay, so here we go. I've no idea if this is going to work, but let's see what happens. The earth seemed to work, I guess. <laughs> That's a good thing. It's a smidge high. We'll try to lower it down a bit. Okay, take three, see how we do. So this time I've slowed it down to 700 uh, millimeters per minute. I've dropped the torch height for the cut down to 1.1 millimeters. Um, increased the pause at the start to uh, 1.5 and it looks like I can Ramp it up to about 51 amps on the, just turn it to max. So let's try again. That one might have worked. Mm 
It didn't work, it's pretty darn close to working. Let's see if we can pull that away with a bit of pliers. So it's it's worked fine, it's kept, pulled off at the pliers easy enough, just gave it a bit of a wiggle and it fell off. Uh, everything seems right. Of course you gotta this pipe is supposed to be able to fit through there, but of course I haven't um, taken into account the thickness of the metal there. And I don't think I really can because of obviously when it cuts, it cuts straight down unless I cut the whole bigger in sections and uh, the right diameter and others. I'd have to cut sort of an overly shape to just be able to push it through a five millimeter pipe. I think this is so. Um, it's going to require a bit of grinder work still, but that's got to be so much easier than my old method, which was cut out a paper template, trace onto a pipe, and cut it by hand, <laughs> which I did last summer or a couple of summers ago. And that's how I lost liters of sweat doing that. So this is a success. Um, now I've just got to figure out the right cutting speeds for the pipes that I'll be using. I bought a couple of pipes here and I've got a thinner diameter main pipe so that should be easy to cut. Um, everything else is all about the same. Um, same diameter so once I get one of them sorted uh, I think they should all cut at about the same speed. Uh, so I'll just set up the profile in um, in my cam software to cut at the right speed. Alrighty, thanks for watching.